she became a self-made millionaire at six. I have three companies. <gasps> Good Girl, Bound by the Crown, and Chichia Bella. But how could a baby be a businesswoman? Are they really her projects or her parents' ones? Isabella Barrett is a completely independent entrepreneur. But because of her young age, she needs her mother's help. She has equity investments. She's gotten product placements, endorsements. She's been on TV shows, all of that. How did she manage to become a millionaire at six? Everything started earlier when Bella was four. She shot to fame on Toddlers and Tiaras when she started a fight with her rival Paisley, whose mother dressed her in a Julia Roberts costume. My mother doesn't dress me up at, like a, as a f***er. Anyway, Paisley didn't stop Bella from becoming a princess. I have won over 55 crowns and 85 titles. But whose wish was it to participate in pageants? Isabella's or her mother Susanna's? She was extremely smart, and I knew that that could be channeled into something positive. Bella was an active kid, and she wanted to be popular. I said, I want to do pageants, and then Mommy entered me in pageants. The small celebrity adored her lifestyle. Makeup, expensive jewelry, crowns, travels, interviews. She was so popular that every girl wanted to be in her place. I'm a superstar. Isabella knew everything about the beauty contests. She even had her own winner scheme. These are the three pageant faces that you use when you win. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. And thank the judges, you can go. Thank you so much. And then the wave. But when it was time to say goodbye to the show, the girl decided to make the most of her popularity and created her businesses, jewelry and clothes lines. I really wanted to get in the business because, like I said, I love talking, I love doing interviews, and they're so much fun. Now, Bella produces hair care products, jewelry, clothes, and even books. But her first earnings were from her YouTube channel. I consider myself a young entrepreneur. Everyone checks out my YouTube channel, and they're always like, oh, you're so pretty, and I'm like, thank you. Then, she started to produce children's clothes with the trademark Bound by the Crown Couture. I have a little slogan that I use for BBC Sting. Kids love it because it's comfortable, and moms love it because it's couture. It's comfortable couture. Today, Isabella is 13 years old, and she has a busy schedule. TV shows, New York Fashion Weeks, red carpets, a book launch. She is a model, a cheerleader, a blogger, an author of a business book, and the owner of three companies. Does she have time for school, or doesn't she need it anymore? Actually, Bella calls herself an ordinary 13-year-old girl. The normal day for me looks like I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. I get up, I go to school, I go to cheer practice, don't forget I do cheer too. Oh my gosh. And then I come home, I check my emails, hang out with my friends, and then I worry about shipping everything. Bella's wealth is more than $10 million, and she is still only a kid. Although she will be able to manage her money after 21, she's already spent thousands of dollars on clothes and jewelry. From nine years old, Bella preferred expensive and designer outfits and only well-known jewelry brands like Tiffany & Co. Isn't her mum scared that she'll become a spoiled kid? Actually, Susanna confessed that Bella is spoiled already, but that's okay and not a problem at all. I spoil both of my kids. I think that as far as what is the word in terms of spoiled, do I think she's going to run around and be a brat and throw things in people's faces? No, because she wasn't raised that way. And what is your opinion? Is it normal to spoil the kids? Or do you prefer to establish some boundaries when it comes to money?